Here's a little geoengineering update from the harder science side of things. We normally keep these discussions to our podcast, but this one can be done quickly. I know we all do have passion on this topic, but let's try to stay focused both here and in the comment section below. A brand new analysis of global agricultural effect of geoengineering has been undertaken by a top-notch group of researchers. Unlike the proposals of marine cloud brightening using water vapor, these scientists are looking at the proposals of blocking solar radiation at higher levels in the stratosphere, creating clouds by getting way up into the sky, and releasing sulfate aerosols or similar particulates. The idea is that they will create cooling via energy reflection, just like the volcanoes do. However, such proposals have never taken a look at the light loss effect on crops. Even though aluminum sprays have been studied for crop poisoning, this is now just about the loss of light for photosynthesis. For the first time, the growing global food needs have been considered as well, and the conclusion is clear. This is not a winnable moment with stratospheric aerosols. While it is found that a short-term cooling will indeed ensue and does have the potential to relieve any heat stress on crops, it is cancelled out by the loss of light and will result in significant effects on at least corn, soy, and wheat, and it's not like they tested everything. As I mentioned, we have all heard thousands of ideas and stories about what's going on with weather modification discussion. I think we're all a bit past that, but then again, we'll all see in the comment section below, won't we? The point to take away here is that now there is non-conspiracy, reputable data indicating that the loss of light that comes along with geoengineering the stratosphere will hinder crop growth, and that is a problem we really don't need right now.